Hello, my name is Nick Hunt. I manage the Robot Products Group of ABB US. What I'd like to show you today is how easy it is to set up a complicated pick and place application with our Pickmaster 3 product. The challenge with these high speed pick and place applications is tying all the elements together so that you can access them from one area. The way we do that is with our Pickmaster 3 software that runs on a GUI interface on a PC. Beginning a Pickmaster 3 application is as easy as opening up a line as a project and adding all the various elements as you see here. In this case we have two conveyors, one camera, and one robot. Now that we've created a line, the next step is to calibrate the camera to the first conveyor. The camera is calibrated using a grid that has special features for determining the origin of the X and Y axes. The size of the blocks let us know the actual size of the parts, as well as their location on the conveyor. Now that the camera is calibrated, the calibration grid is then moved to the robot so that this information can be taught to the robot. And with that, the robot now knows where the camera origin is located, as well as the X, Y, and Z coordinates of conveyor one. After a similar operation is performed on conveyor two, the setup of the line is now complete, and we can begin the creation of the project. In this screen, we show how the project is defined, and what gets picked, and how it gets placed. Here you can see an item being created, renamed, and edited. In this system, we require two different products, so we create and model a second item. A new position source is created, and then connected to the camera. The item can then be modeled with our vision software and its pick location defined. Once modeled, you can define what work area is being acted on. In this case, it is a work area for conveyor one, which is a pick work area. A container is created to generate the pattern that we want the product to be placed into. Now we define what work area the container will be in. In this case, it is the work area for conveyor two, which is what's called the place work area. And with that, the project is now complete and can be saved. After you create a project, sometimes you have to fine tune the placement of the product on the conveyors. You can do that very easily on these screens here. No matter what robot system you buy, you have to put all these elements together. Here you've seen that done without writing one line of code in a teach pendant. And so now you've seen just how easy it is to set up a complicated pick and place application such as this using our Pickmaster 3 software.